All right, I'm going to try and help you guys today design your boat to be maneuverable. Again, calculations for maneuverability aren't going to be required to be judged. Um, it would be a good idea to include anything that you do in your design history notebook, but again, there's no judging for maneuvering calculations. But I'd like to give you some guidelines so that you can design a boat um, that will outmaneuver your competition. In your design guidelines, there are two methods that were provided. You want to go through both of them. Uh, one of them is um, more helpful but more difficult than the other. The first one I'm going to talk about is called the Dent Norsk Veritas formulation for rudder sizing. Um, this is a um, formulation that's in textbooks um, that people use for early design, but its application is very specific. It's for the minimum size of a rudder. So the answers that you get using this equation are typically smaller than what you probably actually want to use in your design. Um, also, it's for rudders that are placed behind propellers. It's its uh, design application. If you decide to put your rudder somewhere else, in front of a propeller or anywhere you'd like, you have that freedom in your design, you'll want to consider uh, increasing the size of your rudder from the uh, answer that you get from this equation. Let's go ahead and make an assumption that we have a craft um, principal dimensions already in mind. Let's assume that your boat has a length between perpendiculars of six feet. Let's assume that it has a beam of one and a half feet. Let's assume that you have a draft of 0 0.75 feet. Now your boat could be quite different from the dimensions that I've put up here. These are just rough dimensions to help us walk through an example. The equation that you'll find in the guidelines is long, but it's, it's just algebra and it's really not that difficult. I'm going to repeat it here on the board with its variables and then we'll replace the variables with the ones that I've written on the board. The area of your rudder is going to be equal to your draft times your length between perpendiculars divided by 100. That term is going to be multiplied by the quantity 1 plus 25 times your beam divided by your length between perpendiculars to the second power and we're going to close the brackets. Okay. So what we do is we simply substitute these terms your length, beam, and draft into this equation. So your draft is 0 0.75 feet times your length between perpendiculars of 6 feet divided by 100. We're going to multiply that by 1 plus 25 times your beam, which is 1.5 feet divided by your length between perpendiculars, which is 6 feet. And we can cancel the units in this equation. Squared. We can work this out with our calculator. You'll find if you multiply 0 0.75 times uh, 6 divided by 100, you'll get 0 0.45 feet squared. I'd recommend that you keep track of your units in calculations like this or any calculations that you do. It's very important. Then you multiply that by 1 plus 25 times. What we're going to do is we'll take this step first. 1 and a half divided by 6 squared. I actually didn't write that down on my paper, so we'll, we'll, we'll check that out. 1 and a half divided by 6 raised to the second power is 0. Point 0, 6, 2, 5. Notice that we've already canceled the units here, so we don't need to write them again. Multiply that number, 0. 0.0625 times 25. I get 1.5625. Then I add 1 to that. So I get my final equation 